Last week, when casualties in Afghanistan hit a new high, President Obama went to Dover Air Force Base to take part in a ceremony honoring the return of some of those who had been killed there. Well, this morning on Fox News, Rush Limbaugh had this to say about that. It was a photo op. It was a photo op precisely because he's having big time trouble on this whole Afghanistan dithering situation. He found one family that would allow photos to be taken. None of the others did. Uh, and of course, when you have a, a sycophantic media following you around, able to promote and amplify whatever you want, then he can create the impression that he has all this great concern. So what's your reaction to that? My reaction is that I think that the President of the United States went to Dover to represent the American people and pay his respect to the families who had made uh, so much of a sacrifice to those brave uh, uh, service people who made the ultimate sacrifice. It was the appropriate thing to do. And I think most Americans uh, uh, appreciate that. Uh, on this broadcast back in March, uh, the White House Chief of Staff, Rahm Emanuel, said this about Rush Limbaugh. He said he is the voice, the intellectual force, and the energy behind the Republican Party. Uh, do you believe that uh, what he said today, and he, we'll have some more quotes from him here, uh, represents what the Republican Party believes? I don't know. Uh, I, I, that's for the Republican Party to decide. I think we've seen an interesting development over this weekend in a special election up in upstate New York in a congressional district. The Republican candidate withdrew because of the, uh, the strong third party movement behind a very right wing uh, conservative. And uh, certainly Mr. Limbaugh and others were behind uh, that. And I think it sends a clear message to moderates within that party that there's no room at the inn uh, for them. And that's why you see Republican uh, identification in polls at a, at a historic low. So that may be uh, where the energy is in the Republican Party, but it's certainly not uh, a view on which you can build a majority, uh, uh, a majority party. Well, one of the things he said today was that the president is narcissistic, immature, inexperienced, and in over his head. Reaction? Yeah. Well, I, I think it's a uh, surreal day when you're getting lectures on humility uh, from Rush Limbaugh, and uh, I'm not uh, going to respond to that. The fact is that uh, he is an entertainer. The president uh, has to uh, run the country. He's the commander in chief. He has huge responsibilities. I think he does them thoughtfully. He does them well, and uh, they're difficult problems. We walked into a difficult situation. I think he's handling it uh, very, very well, and most people believe that. So, you know, we'll let Mr. Limbaugh uh, fulminate, but. I think the American people uh, are well served and believe they're well served. I want to go to other things, but let me just ask you one final question. Uh, last week, your man uh, Robert Gibbs uh, met with the folks at Fox News, declared a truce uh, in this uh, war you've been having with them. Uh, was the truce uh, broken this morning? Look, I'm not. Uh uh, first of all, let me dispel something. We're not at war with uh, anyone. We're at war uh, only with uh, people who represent mistruths as truth. And uh, that's true of any network, whether it's Fox, CBS, or any other network. When, when errors of fact are stated or when opinion is offered as fact, uh, we, will, we will challenge that. So, uh, uh, you know, and that is... Uh, that will be our policy uh, going forward, and the American people deserve that, and we, and we have to do that uh, uh, for the sake of, uh, of the administration. Uh, but, uh, but we're not at war with uh, anyone, and certainly Rush, nobody, there's no surprise that Rush uh, Limbaugh uh, espouses the views that he uh, espouses. He does it every day on radio. He, he's marketing the uh, the outrageous, and uh, and he does very well with it. But uh, as I said, he's an entertainer. Uh, we've got bigger responsibilities, and we're going to discharge those responsibilities.